Welcome back to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy. I'm Rod. I'm Bradley. And today we're taking a look at the brand new version of Class, Class. 4. Class 4. Class 4. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's awesome. And this is a four-player version of the game that we love so much, exactly. Class. If you haven't seen our video on that, go watch that video. Yep. We absolutely loved it. The original Clask, but now, well, some of us did. Some, we'll, we'll get to that. Some. But uh, now we're going to give you our rating on the new class, Clask 4, and we're going to give you our buy it, play it, hate it rating. All right, let's do it. We'll tell you this right at the beginning, and then we'll spend the, the rest of this video telling you why. Green means go buy this game, add it to your collection. White means maybe you shouldn't buy it, but you definitely should play it. And then red means don't buy it, don't play it, because you hate it. Hate it. Our rating review of right. Clask 4 is... Green. Three oh, greens. okay. Three <laughs> greens. All right. Now, just so you know, we don't always agree no. on everything. Right. No. But this no. game, we're it's agreeing awesome. on. Yeah. Well, first thing is quality, right? Yes. yes Fantastic sure. quality. I mean, this is really a well-built game. Man, under the Christmas tree, just imagine pulling this thing out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how excited is it? You know, it's a big box. Yes, and it just, you're right, the quality throughout, it just feels solid. There's nothing about this that feels like a cheap wood plastic mm -hmm. thing. Like, this is a solidly made yep. little thing. Right, and the great thing now is it's gone from a two to four player game. Four. Round, they give these little edges so it keeps the, the thing in action yeah. for you, the ball. It is a quick learning game. And a blast to play. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. I initially, mm -hmm. initially, initially, I'm not a dexterity kind of yeah. uh, player. I'm right. not into getting my hands into things, and <laughs> that's not what I'm about. But when we played this at Gen Con this uh -huh. last year, I played it once and thought, yeah, I mean, it is better. And then we played it again and played it again, <laughs> and I kept wanting to play it more. Yeah. Just because there's so many cool aspects to it. Mm -hmm. You know, even though it's a round board, they figured out how to put corners, add corners in it. to a round Angles. board. Yeah. And so the the workmanship, the craftsmanship in it, it you can't talk enough about that. Yeah. And it is a pricier game. It is mm -hmm. on the pricier end of things. But honestly, you do get what you pay for totally. in, in this game, mm -hmm. for sure. So uh, the, the pluses, like we said, are four people. Mm -hmm. And the way that it works in regular class, you're playing up to a number, like in any, you know, kind of the first person is six, I think it was, or five, whatever. Well, in this game, it works backwards. So now you're counting down. So everybody has five points. And if the ball goes in your side or if you class and you get your thing in there, then you go down a point. And so you go all the way down until you're at zero, and then whoever has the most points wins. And mm -hmm. if there's a tie, then there's a tie. And that's not a big deal because you just play right. the game you just again. just hop right back in. Yep, just dive back in. You go up to five again, and then you go. Um, they still have the same biscuits. They call these biscuits. biscuits. Uh, but uh, So these are the same way. If you get two of those on you, then you lose a point. Uh, but uh, they have a new version of these, and you can buy this as an upgrade too. If you have regular class, they have, yeah. they've got a new version, and these are like a little bit more rounded, and uh, I guess that that helps it. And then they have a little plastic piece that goes on this now that'll help keep your board from getting scratched up as much. And so they've really thought it through. It's yeah. great. This was a huge hit at Gen Con. At Essen, I saw people walking around with this. There's tons. Uh, it's just a great game. Wow. You can't go wrong. And don't forget, you saw the World Championship of this. World team. Championship. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. I saw it at Gen Con, and I saw it in Essen. They had some kind of a qualifier. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. And so it's just such a fun, competitive, but not competitive. I mean, you yeah. can play it either way. Yeah. They've got the competitive side, yeah. or you can play it just as fun. The family, kids sitting around the table. Yeah. There's both ways to play this. It's very much a traditional type game. Something I would have expected when I was a kid to see underneath the tree. So I mean, that's just a. It's a very, very. This is the perfect Christmas gift this year, folks. Mm -hmm. So yeah. get out there and get it. So there what's a world championship uh, tip? Oh, what's a gamer tip? Uh, so a couple things that I saw is they actually would hit the ball into the biscuits and slide them to the opponent. Hmm. Or they could, there's even a way where you can hit the biscuit really fast and launch the biscuit. And wow. so there, I saw some professional moves there where they, they were using what's on the board to their advantage, not just trying to get it into the hole. So. Honestly, oh. if I tried to get tricky, it would just end up in the thing. Just I would just end up... Class. I, 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 I can't even think about doing anything extra. It's just move forward. 
Just yeah. move forward. That's all it. you. That's all you can do. But one day, if you one practice, day, I one believe in day you. Day practice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you go. So go out and uh, pick up class. Class four. Go yep. get it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Love it. Love it. Love it.